Hey guys, back in 2020, I made a video on how to mod uh, Emergency 4 Deluxe, uh, but now the links have expired and stuff, so I'm just going to do uh, another one real quick, and hopefully this helps out. Uh, I know people have had trouble in the past with that old video, so we're going to make an up updated video as of uh, February 10th, 2023. Uh, so first thing you're going to need is WinRAR. If you don't already have it, you can click here uh, where it says Download WinRAR. Um, you do not need to buy it. If it ever prompts you to buy it, don't buy it. Um, so click on download WinRAR. On the bottom left, it should pop up. Uh, accept it. Let it download. Whatever you need to do. Next, uh, I wasn't able to find the old list that I had in the last video. But I was able to find uh, this list of mods and this list of mods. I don't know how many of them work. Um, but I am going to, once again, do the West Town west falls township mod right here uh, but i will put the link to both of those in the description so i'm going to click west falls township latest version here it's going to pull up mega from mega you're going to click download i don't know if this is going to be the exact same for all the mods but this is how it is for west falls township uh apparently it's going to take 10 minutes to do this so uh, i'm going to let it go and i'll skip forward to when it's done Okay, it is still working, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to get to your directory. So within your Steam library here, go to Emergency 4 Deluxe, right click on it, go to Manage, Browse Local Files. That's your best way to get here. Uh, if you do not have a mods folder, right click over here, click New Folder, name it Mods, and then you can double click on that. You will probably have nothing in here. However, I currently have Old West Falls Township and Harbor City. I've never used Harbor City, so I don't know why that's in there, but I, I have that in there. Um, so just have that available when it does finish downloading, and I will come back when this is done downloading. All right, it has finished downloading. Uh, so you can see here on the bottom left, it says West Falls Township. Once you click on the bottom left, uh, it'll open up in WinRAR if you've used WinRAR before. If you haven't, it'll ask you how you want to open it. Click WinRAR uh, and it'll bring up the West Falls Township mod right here. So what you will do is you'll have your mods folder open on the left. You'll have your WinRAR on the right. You're going to click and drag it in and you're going to drop it into the open area down here. And it will <clears throat> download over. Since I'm doing it again, it might ask me to replace files. Um, so if it asks you to do that, then uh, click yes. If not, then you're good. Um, and I'm gonna allow this to complete and then I'll keep going. So it did prompt me to replace files. So if it asks you to replace files, just agree. That probably means you already had the mod, you're just updating it. So now that it's going now that it is complete, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go check mod installer. If it shows up here, uh, that means it should be in the game. So now we can close out all of all of this. We're gonna start up emergency four. Uh play. And then we are gonna check and make sure that our mod is in there. Now that we have the game open, uh you can go to modifications. And it should show up here. You can see how you, there's only two at a time, so you might need to scroll down. Click on whatever mod you want to run. Click OK. And it's going to freeze like this. It's going to freeze like this possibly for a couple minutes, depending on your computer. That's OK. That just means that the game is loading in, or the mod is loading in, rather. So once it loads, it'll bring you back to the main menu. You're then going to go to Free Play, Normal, Continue. Make sure it's on endless here. Continue. And now you can see the background is West Falls Modification by Slated Dragon. And of course, uh, it could be different depending on the mod that you chose. Uh, there might not be a, a different background at all. Um, but hopefully you chose a mod that works and it will pop up for you. Now the game is loaded in. You can see it's obviously different than what uh, you would normally have with the base game. And we have our West Falls Township mod. So that should work. Um, I'm gonna get out of the game here, but 
I can't promise in a couple years if you watch this that this will still work, that the mods will still be there um, in those lists on the links. But if they're not, just try searching your mod that you're looking for uh, in Google and you might be able to find it. And then probably use these exact same steps and it should still work. Um, so I hope this works out for you. Um, and have fun playing Emerge Emergency 4 Deluxe uh, with your mods. Have a good one.